How are you feeling? Awesome. Thinking about the audience screaming when they first see Alan Doyle. Oh, a ball of nerves. I'm excited. I'm excited and scared. It's a big bustling mass of craziness. You should be panicking and kind of shitting your pants a little <laughs> yes, bit. Yes, exactly. <laughs> truly a snowball being pushed down a hill and where we are right now in the growth and speed of that snowball is exhilarating and terrifying and all the things you hope for when you go into creating a new piece of theater we just won the crown and took the bloody purse <laughs> Welcome, welcome to the greatest place. Oh, gee. Everybody in this biz knows when you hit the stage and you really want to get all that tech stuff worked out, it just, everything slows down really quickly. But you just got to take, you know, a step back for, and let the technical people take over for a few days. And that's exactly where we are right now. We have lighting, sound, an orchestra, the actors, and a revolve. And the revolve uh, complicates things a lot because every time the revolve moves, we have to time the lighting off that and the actors have to show up at the exact right time. There's a lot at this point. It's timing. Once we work it out, it looks really smooth, and you would just think, oh, people just kind of dock backstage and come back out. It's way more complicated than that. Every day, it's another moment of, holy sh we're here now. Holy sh we're here now. And it's a lot of really wonderful firsts. Everybody sings on payday. One of Jill's earliest touches was to animate the town. She wants us to grab people by the hand and take them on this journey. Jill has brought in creative and imaginative people and is letting their brilliance become those characters and set the template of what it will be going forward. And that's so exciting. I play Louise. She is a community member in Telltale Harbor. She also happens to be the bartender at the Legion. And the Legion is a pretty busy community hub where a lot of the action of the story takes place. We're all trying to make a living because we're giving a living. Out. It's always nice to work on a brand new musical and a brand new Canadian musical at that. How often do I get to create a character from scratch or sing music written that has not been performed before? It is exciting times. What are we gonna do now here in our cricket uniforms, holding our cricket sticks with no earthly idea how to play cricket? When I first read the script, I thought, oh my God, this is like a classic golden age musical. I play Sweet Henry. He works at the fish plant with the rest of the folks, but in his spare time, you could probably find him gardening with his partner, Gus. Being a queer person, I think a lot of the time in our art, we have to kind of suppress who we are. And I think in this process, I've just been able to be Jacob. Just realizing now, actually, this has been such a therapeutic experience because I think through Henry, I've been able to now be Jacob fully. And that's something very, very special. See you at the Legion. First round is on Mr. Hawk. <laughs> the character I play is Vera, and I'm married to uh, Yvonne, who's played by Laurie Murdoch. Laurie and I in this show are the example of the great couple. So that the younger people who are trying to get together have this example of people who figured it out and did it right. This story is really all about love and what people will do for their town and for each other. The whole town has to pull together in order to accomplish what needs to happen. Led, of course, by the inimitable Mr. Alan Doyle. He's had his share of golden ducks with his googlies. And his mighty fall. Watching Alan Doyle bloom as a musical theater actor is really special. There's these milestones or, you know, markers or whatever you want to call it that you look back on and they sort of end up being the titles to the chapters of your life. I think opening night here will be the opening of a new chapter. It's a seed I buried deep and swore would never break through. Nothing I have ever done has been anywhere near as collaborative as this project, and uh, nothing has benefited as much from the generosity of the talents and skill sets. I love collaboration. This is a collaborative art form, and I think when you lean into that, especially with this group of like brilliant actors, you can create magic. I think it requires like a level of support and a generosity of spirit from everybody in the room because it is something that means so much to so many people. It's very exciting to be in on the ground floor of something that is just very 
expression. Yes. Here we are, you know, these terrible things that are going on in the world. And what do we do? We push laughter out. Every night, a thousand people in that house send laughter up to the gods. And that's our job. That's our job to do that. Maybe more than ever, what we should be offering is laughter, is celebration, and community. Because that's what gets us through it, all of it, through the pandemic, through wars, is each other. And that this show celebrates that, celebrates what home is. We have to have more joy in the world. And this is a ticket. This is a ticket to joy. Because everybody sings on payday. Everybody sings on payday. This show is about a town. It's not about a fella. It's about a town. It really is surrounded by really relevant things. It's a celebration of life. It's a celebration of community. Audiences will be feeling like they're a part of that. All of the unique things about each unique person up there is what makes the story so rich. Not only are they going to see a great show with a great story, a beautiful set, they're going to hear all these fantastic Alan Doyle songs with these brilliant musicians who are world class. A lot of people haven't been in the theater for about two years now, so... For this show to be their first time back, I think is going to be an experience. It's so engaging and fun and exhilarating. I just can't wait to share it. I honestly think we have put together the exact night out that the world needs right now. Come down to the theater. Have a laugh. Come down and have a laugh. How wonderful is that? Oh. <laughs>